You know. Yo. Happening, man? It's all good. No one's. Had them difficulties, man. Te- I had them technicals. I had them technicals, man. Computer tried to die on me. But anyway, let's get to it, man. Sim Racing Podcast, episode one. First one. Getting stuck in straight away. Controversial topics straight away. What are you saying, Predator? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. Been waiting all week for this. Yeah. Oh, it's iRacing worth it. Don't forget, guys, man, leave a comment, get involved. If you're playing iRacing um, and you've got a difference of opinion, then feel free to speak on the matter. We're going to voice your concerns as well. So if it you need to fair. comment, yeah, mm. we'll definitely be fair. But mm. yeah, man, so for, for the longest time, you know, people that play iRacing have been telling us that there is no comparison and and... And whatnot. Where do you stand on iRacing? Because obviously you've played it, I've played it. Um, mm. we, we've basically played all the Sims apart from R Factor. I don't think there's R Factor and yeah. Auto Ballista. I don't think there's a game I haven't played. So mm. where where do you stand on iRacing? Uh, iRacing for me, yeah. I mean, like I like the whole idea of it and the whole sort of competition. Yeah, how it all works and stuff. Like it's very similar to Grand Turismo in a way. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but. I feel like it's a, almost a pay to win sort of scheme. Right, right. You know, I prefer that, you know, you can get the same sort of racing on I racing, you know, and and that's every now and then with random people that you, know, mm. you can get on ACC, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a, I'd say for me, yeah, that's why I stay on a set of Corsa because I don't have to pay, you know, 10 quid for a track to race you yeah, know, yeah. Like Apex for, the, for, the, for the next round, if you get what I'm saying. I think with iRacing, I think the 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 pro with iRacing is just like it's like the the ultimate competition. You know, when you when you jump on iRacing, you're not you're not facing your friends or you're just yeah. going in there to battle to compete, and that's it. You're not you don't have to worry about oh if I if mm. I slightly hit this guy, you can go on iRacing, you can race guys as hard as you want. When with us, when I'm for instance, when I'm racing with with me, you, CJ, whoever it might be, you you kind of yeah. leave that little. Um, you don't race them as hard as you would race someone that you completely don't know. You're just out there to win, you if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, there's a level of respect. Yeah. In, whereas when you're mm. racing someone, you don't know them straight for the win, straight for the points, you, you kind of, you're a little bit harder. You know I mean, mm. I think that level of competition is why I race is a bit more cutthroat, especially at, at the top. But yeah. with me as well, I, I just feel like the biggest, the biggest thing going for I racing is obviously the competition, but the the money you have to spend is it's crazy to me. It's crazy because I I looked at the numbers of iRacing. There's something like like seventy thousand people on iRacing, and if you think about the subscriptions, like for the year, it's like a hundred and nine hundred and nine pound. So when you do the maths, it's like wow, these guys are raking it in. And all I'm saying is, is for a game that's making that much on a constant basis, because like games like Project Cars and a set of course, so they've sold way more copies, obviously because they're on multiple platforms than iRacing. and they've sold way more copies, but iRacing keeps recouping its money every year, every time someone, you know, um re signs up, you know what I mean? So even though they're not selling the amount that the other games sell, they always recoup it because people keep on signing up. So it's like with the amount of money that these guys are are making from iRacing, surely can we get some better graphics? Can we get some some rain? Mm. We're only yeah. recently getting like night racing and stuff. Do you know what I mean? I just think that yeah. I racing could have more. Yeah, true. Man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you think about it, like for me, I racing, like, I only go on there every now and then, and yeah. that's to only sort of see what what's going on, sort of. Whereas yeah. it it doesn't hold me as much as a set of courses. I mean, mm. for me, I don't think the graphics is as great as a set of courses. You yeah. know, what I mean, other people may have different opinions in it, but. I feel like for me, you know, a set of Corsa in the graphics sort of department is a bit better on that side. Just has that edge, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I don't think iRacing and graphics are bad. I just think they're just they're just old. Mm. If you know what I mean, it just looks it just looks old, you know. And that's what I mean by with a game that's constantly earning so much. Surely that should be like iRacing should be the pinnacle in every department, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. You know I mean, it's, it's got the best competition. Fun. What's that? Especially with the whole sort of like the content package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get 
to pay for the whole sort of content, you know, you're looking at like at least sort of like a grand or so. Oh, it's more than that. I think it's about two grand. If you was to pay for everything in iRacing, it's about two grand. So and, what, and, and you're not sort of guaranteed that that great race every single race. Yeah, I've, I think as well. If you the the, the thing with iRacing is you're never you never fully just own the game. Even mm. if you spent and bought every single thing on the game. Next year, at the time where you need to renew your subscription, you're going to have to pay 110 quid again. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's the problem. How you yeah. keep on paying for the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. And, you know, the, the improvements are, are slow. Yeah. You know, and I, obviously I'm not an expert. I, don't, I haven't been on all the tire models and tried all these things, but I just think, like, come on, man. There's got to be – it needs something else. Yeah. You know like, what I mean? It's, it's missing that wow factor. Yeah, definitely. that's what it is. Cause I I used to like before graphics never used to bother me at all. They don't bother me to a certain extent, mm. but um, like I used to watch like uh, FSR on R Factor, which the graphics were terrible. Oh yeah, but I just used to watch I it for the racing. Yeah, yeah, the racing was good because it was community based. Yeah, effective. yeah. But like oh, with with iRacing now, is I I get. I get a little bit bored when I'm watching like the, you know, like the GT series and I just see like, just like 35 AMGs driving around the track with one McLaren and, and three Audis and one Z4. That to me, that's, that's boring. You know what I mean, they should, like the variation needs to be a lot more in terms of like GT3 cars and so, like the main classes, mm. I feel like they could do more. I know it's hard to get licenses and whatnot, but to be that ultimate game, you have to, push the boundaries with these kind of things in in my opinion because mm. i remember when, when i got iRacing the first thing i wanted to do i just wanted to buy a gt3 car so i went and i thought let me go and get a, a amg and i saw like yeah. 14 pound i was like what 14 pounds <laughs> nah i can't do that and then yeah, yeah, people okay. were telling me like uh people would say to me like oh well sometimes they might change the bop so at one time, the Audi might be the car to be in, everybody in the field to be in the Audi. And then another time, it might be the AMG. I thought, hold on a second. I'm not paying £14 to have a car that doesn't stand a chance around the track. You know what I mean? Like, all the cars mm. should be, like, as close as possible in performance, man. I don't I don't think you should be updating cars so one car's more favoured than another. So that means you just wasted £14 and going to get nowhere in the race. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, also sort of like the equipment that goes with it as well. Yeah. Because... You know, if you haven't got like the up to date equipment, like a Fanatec wheel, you yeah. know, decent pedals, you know, you, you're 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 immediately going into races at a disadvantage. Yeah. Well, whereas a set of Corsa in that stage, you know, you can get a T three hundred. I mean, some people I know use the Logitech. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, Noble uses a yeah. Logitech. Noble uses the Logitech wheel as well. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. That's what I was gonna say because I remember um, I remember Jardia saying since he got his Fanitech, the uh, the brakes you could tell the difference like by braking it was was way better for mm. racing way better and it's like mm. to be compared. Let's just say you're someone who's just an extremely fast natural guy. You're just naturally a super fast guy, yeah. and you wanna just you wanna go and do I racing. First, you gotta grind it out so you get up to the uh, the higher tiers or whatnot. But then, mm. if you're not if you're not part of a team, a, a well known team or well structured team, you're gonna struggle for setups right at the top level, and it does definitely makes a difference. And then, if you haven't if you haven't got the amount of money to buy um, like really good equipment that's gonna improve you, then you're gonna find it hard to battle. Most of them guys at the top, their their rigs. I've seen some of their rigs. I've seen uh, Martin Cronkay's rig. You know what I mean? That's that's not something you can buy in the shop. That's something built from the ground up. These guys have got money. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. can you compete? You know yeah. I mean, is it is it possible to compete in iRacing if you're just a naturally fast guy with a just a substandard wheel? You know what I mean? Could you get into the top tiers and battle the guys at the front? I don't know. Mm. I doubt it. It'd be tough. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like one. that's this is the only game that 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 happened that this happens. Yeah. You know, it's the only game. So I'm not too sure, man. I, me personally, I feel like as long as you got a wheel and you got pedals and you're fast, you should be able to compete. 
Mm. As you say all the time, the the hand, the the, the wheel is in your hands. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The wheel in your hand. Yeah, you know, that's it. Nobody else drives it but yourself. That's, a, that's it. Problem. Other than other than that, it's just a it's just a struggle. Like you shouldn't have to feel ah, oh, I have to buy a Fanatec wheel. I have to have the latest Fanatec pedals to be mm. super quick. You know what I mean? To me, that's that's kind of wrong. I mean, mm. if I if I ever played a game and I thought if I haven't got the right equipment, then I can't even compete. I'd be like, ah, it's just, it's just not the same. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What's I happening in Redstone? You good, bro? Yo. Yeah, Iris, uh, Iris and crazy. What would you say are some good points then? Well, for so, Iris, definitely yeah, for Iris, um, yeah. the competition, second yeah. to none in it. You, yeah. you got to think about it like, People are getting to people you're racing. Yeah, people you're getting to race actual racing drivers. It was only the other day uh CJ See. was in the same lobby as Max Verstappen. Crazy. You know what I mean? So like getting to rub shoulders with real racing drivers and getting to test yourself up against people mm. that you know do it for real. They've got the consistency, they've got they've got everything. You know, that yeah. that I think you can't get anywhere else. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, not well. You can get in other places, but not to that level. I know on race room there is a lot of a, uh, I think time uh, trial sort of there's a, there's no there's a lot of I think there's a lot of GT Masters driver, which is like the German sort oh. of GT three, and a lot yeah. of uh, DTM guys on there. I think Timo Glock's on there as well. So there's you know there's guys on there as well, but um mm. yeah, it's it's definitely definitely a little bit different um, on iRacing racing because you see I've seen Rubens Barrichello. Max Verstappen, Lando Norris, Nicky Team, all these. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like that. Crazy. You know, if you if you imagine you're you're racing one of these guys, keeping up with one of them, or just you know getting to battle one of them for even if a few corners, you're not gonna get that anywhere else, man. Yeah, it's gonna boost your confidence, isn't it? But yeah, definitely, definitely. What's happening, Redstone? You good? I mean, how you doing, man? Friday. Normally the day everyone's out, but instead we're podcasting. Yeah, it's better that way. Yeah, we don't go out on Fridays no more. It doesn't get yourself into trouble with the missus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think, like, what do you, what do you think iRacing would have to change to, to make it, like, applicable to spend that amount of money? I think if they were to change anything, I think for me first, in my opinion, would probably be the graphics. Right. Sort of like the, hand, the handling of like the um on on, on i racing effectively yeah. because i feel like when i'm driving it yeah it's 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 very sort of like i i, I get the arcadey feel from it you know right, i don't right. feel the road as much and i feel like when you're driving a set of courses you feel everything a lot more as well but i feel like if they're going to change something i'd say the graphics and probably just the sort of handling physics sort of play a set of courses gather a you know, an understanding on how that feels and, you know, make it yeah. their own. I feel like, um, for me, if iRacing was to change anything, I think it'd, it'd have to be like, um, cheers for the follow of Redstone. Um, if iRacing was to change I anything, I feel like it would be uh, probably, no, probably just, uh, it's, it's like with iRacing, it's like you're just thrown in the deep end and you, you just don't yeah. really know what's going on. When I first jumped on iRacing, I didn't know what I was doing. I loaded up the, uh, I had the iRacing app. I was loading that up thinking I was in practice, not knowing I had to jump on the website and all the, like, I was yeah. completely baffled. I didn't know, like, the accessibility is not, it's not, it's not, like, user-friendly. Like, it's very hard to know what you're doing unless you've got someone to, you know, tell you what to do or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um. In that sense, I was I was just baffled, man. Mm. You know what I mean, I think even the car setup's very complicated on there oh, as this, well. It's crazy. Like, <laughs> even even that, if you look at car setups, a lot of these a lot of these top teams they've actually got engineers. You know what I mean? They've got engineers, so you have to pay. Yeah, you have to pay for that as well. Like, yeah, if if you want like uh if you want like proper set, well, we say proper setups, but me personally, I very much doubt. Even if you sign up to one of these schemes, I think it's like a subscription thing. Another subscription yeah. that you have to pay for to get setups from some of the, uh, you know, the top esports teams, and they'll you know do setups for you and whatnot, and you have to pay to be under their scheme. But how good are the setups that they're giving you? Are they really going to give you the fastest possible setup, knowing that you know you could be anybody? 
Mm-hmm. You know I mean, you could be, you could be, you know, getting setups from pure racing, but be, be friends with someone from Coanda. You know what I mean, so I very much doubt they're going to give you the fastest possible setups they can. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So like, if if I'm paying for something, I want the best. If you if you in any other walk of life, if you're paying for something, you want the actual best you can get if you're spending the money. I doubt mm. they'll give you the best. I really do. They might do, but me personally, nah. I <laughs> mean, I don't think because so. I ain't doing it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, two clicks down, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but it's it's like it's just it's just a lot to pay for. Like I get the competition. The 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 good thing about iRacing, like there's so much different um different disciplines you could race. You know what I mean, yeah. like V8 supercars. There's like dirt racing, all sorts. You know what I mean? Formula One or Formula Grand Prix, whatever they call it, GT3. Yeah. Like, there's there's so much you can do. You know what I mean? Um, but it's just the money. Do you know what I mean? The money. When yeah. I when I first got air racing, I spent the money. I thought, you know what? I was I was hype. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was yeah. hype when I first got air racing, and I yeah. jumped on it, and immediately the just the the immediate feel of the game. I thought, nah, nah, nah. Something's wrong here. And because and because there's no sort of there's no guide to anything. I couldn't even I didn't even know how to fix my force feedback to the way that I liked it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And that put me off, and then I ended up just wasting my subscription. Just wasted it. Waste of ninety quid. Old. I think I paid like ninety quid for. Yeah, mine. I paid ninety quid for mine too. Yeah, yeah. I paid ninety <laughs> quid. Um, let me read this comment uh, yeah. from Mid Pack Mike. They are not the best. I use VRS and Craig's setup shop. Use a top team setup and they are better. Right. How much time how much yeah. time did you how much time did you find with a a top team setup? So sort of like what were you doing before? Yeah, because I, I I think I think is CJ said something about the VRS and Craig setup shop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure how because how much is the subscription for that? I'm I'm not too sure on how much this uh, subscription is on to that, but maybe he should. I'm asked uh, mid pack Mike. I take it that you you had to pay for that, right? Because he's saying that um he he did try the VRS and Craig setup shop. So definitely the because I I heard a lot of these guys have got like actual engineers, like yeah. actual engineers, you know, setting their cars up. You know, if it's you've got an actual engineer car. setting your car up, it's a win-win. Yeah. I mean, of course, we got we got guys like that on a set of courses, but I think a set of courses is a lot a lot easier. So I, I think it's a lot more community based. Yeah. From, it's a lot more friendly, I guess. I mean, like Not everyone. That, that's that's the thing. Some people they they're cool with the, the the friendly thing and all that. Like I am, I'm cool with it. I like to jump with my friends and whatnot, but. We're talking about like the like the ultimate competition, which is fine, where you ain't you ain't got no friends. You know what I mean? It's just straight racing. Wow. Wow. I can't even say no more. <laughs> Mid pack Mike, no fifty deal. quid. Wow. Fifty quid yeah. for a setup. You wanna ask for a refund. <laughs> <laughs> so how how did you um did you get to use a top uh, top team setup or was it just like people around you you saw um with top team setup, about 50 quid, that's a lot of money, man, for a setup. So you've already paid like 90 quid to sign up to iRace and you probably had to pay 14 quid for a car, a little bit for a track. Oh, MX Mike, how you doing, man? I ain't seen you for ages, man. I need to get, all right, there's a lot of, there's a lot of guys, a lot of guys um in VR mm. room that went to, uh went to PC before I did. VR, so. What's VR, VR room, we was in, uh, you know, I think your dad used to race a VR room, didn't he? You know, on um, what with on, CJ? No, not with CJ. GT Sport, not GT Sport. Gran Turismo back in the day. Yeah, you but know, you, you know, yeah. like you know, like Slash and that. Yeah, 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 I've yeah, heard yeah. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, I when I when I started playing Project Cars One, mm. I was racing in VR room with MX Mike. Well, mid pack yeah. Mike now he calls himself or MX Mike, um, Clarky, yeah. uh, Sideways, a lot of these guys, man, and they all went to iRacing and stuff. And at the time, I was yeah. so jealous, stuck on PS4 <laughs> playing P cars, the P cars yeah. two. I think when P cars two just came out, these guys all left, 
got on iRace and I was like, oh, I, just, I need a PC so badly, but I didn't want to spend the money at the time. And then obviously eventually mm. I got on PC and I haven't got any of these guys' uh, Steam, Steam ID. So I just ended up finding my own way and then eventually just ended up on a set of course of competition. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. just by chance. But um, yeah, that, the eye racing thing, man. I, I think you know, I, you know, because I'm not in it. In it, if I was properly in it, I probably maybe I'd see it a different way. But um, yeah, it's it's a lot. CJ saying VRS and pure are a ten pounds, ten month. Man. Is that ten pound a month? Yeah. But unlimited setups for all weekly series and archive stuff. VRS put out like twenty minute videos explaining the lap and showing telemetry. I mean that's fair enough. To, I mean that's good for mm. for people to to um you know to to gain experience from. Like how much how much do you learn from that, CJ? Craig's is five pound a month and Tanner is free. All right. Probably stick with Tanner. Yeah, I'll stick with Tanner. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> We're trying to get the free the free. Yeah, yeah. But no, I mean as I said, like. Because I'm not in it, I don't know what it's like to do, you know, like a, you know, like a spa 24 hours and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. How you doing, Junior Meat? Yeah, I'd, like, I'd, I'd like to do stuff like that, you know? Like, mm. say, me, you, CJ. CJ, yeah. yeah you know? That'd be way. It'd be good. Yeah, it'd be crazy. But I just, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to start racking up. <laughs> spending dough like, I mean like if you're if you're working you know, I don't know you're living at home or you, you're earning a good wage and you can afford if you can afford it do it innit but if you if you just want to have fun and you're not going to be on the game every single day of the week I don't know if iRacing is worth it iRacing to me is a commitment you know what I mean you have to be solely committed to that game to get the best mm. out of it you know what I mean because I'll be honest if I if I was to go on iRacing and I was slow as hell bro and I was paying all that money, yo. I, I don't think I would. I wouldn't last. I would not last, yeah. man. It wouldn't hold me as much. Yeah. To be fair, when I first joined it, though, um, driving the uh, Mazda cars and stuff and racing is good fun, and I can see why it sometimes holds like holds people. If you get what I mean. Yeah, so, I get uh, that. I definitely get that. I mean, like yeah. as I said, like me what was it me Cage. We used to watch it like religiously. Like as soon as mm. soon as one of the um, me cage CJ, can't remember who I was being low, but we used to watch it like religiously when the races used to come on. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But I don't know what happened. It just seemed to die out to me. Even when I started watching that that Porsche, uh, the Porsche Cup sort of uh, championship they had going on. Yeah, and like yeah, that looked pretty good. That was good, and I was just watching that Josh Rogers just rapid destroying it mm. all the time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then I don't know. Even like, for instance, I don't like GT Sport. I don't like nothing about the game, in terms of physics or even the way it looks. But you cannot deny when when they have these these esports, e-sports. competitions, like it actually looks. It interests me just the competition. I like anything that's competitive, and I just feel like the way that they have done it, it even trumps iRacing to me, like easily, the yeah. way they've done it. You know, even you can say F one, the F one events yeah. that. Even you can even say that is probably done a little bit better than I racing. Mm. It's a lot more professional. I mean, yeah. compared to what it was in 2017 mm. to now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of it's, like it's grown. The prize, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. it's grown. And the prize yeah. money that comes with it as well is kind of hefty. Mike's saying that's why I stick to I racing. I'd hate to try another sim and prefer that after spending all that money. I'll get that, man. Mm. I'll get that. And I think that's why that's why I mean it's the commitment, isn't it? Because there's there's guys here that I know that are rapid and they will come from my race and maybe not be as fast as something else, but it's because they have to keep that that muscle memory on iRacing, racing, man, because that's where they're spending all the dollars. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But for me it's like with other games, it's like once you've bought it, you've got it. With iRacing, racing, you've bought it, you've got it for now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But if if a subscription comes up in twelve months time and in 12 months' time, you're running a little bit short on money. You might not get to race for a month. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, that's... Sorry. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Mike. Like marriage. <laughs> <laughs> like marriage. 
Mike said it's mm. like marriage. It is. It's a it's commitment. Really definitely. Like marriage because yeah. it's every day. I mean, look how look how much them. Look how long me and you are on a set of courses from. Yeah, you know, yeah. We're on it every day at least. Yeah, it's true. Attempt, and you can understand why you know the guys in I racing and why they're probably so good as well because of the uh, competition that comes with it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I think like in turn, I'd I'd love to test myself against all the fastest guys because I'm not really, I don't really care about the the win. Yeah, you know I mean, I care about the competition and how it looks from the outside inwards. You know I mean, I care about yeah. being in. For instance, when we had that race at, um, at Paul Ricard in the settle, I didn't even care yeah. that I didn't win. The race was so crazy and the pace was so, so fast, and the fact that like all four guys just stuck together the whole entire race that was more mm. important to me than yeah clearing off in the distance and winning. I like that sort of competition. I know you get a lot of that on I racing where you're just stuck in a battle the whole race. You know what I mean? I like that sort yeah. of thing, but. What I like more than that is I like variation. I like to see four or five, six different cars battling it out. I hate just yeah. seeing just a bunch of AMGs and two Audis and one McLaren. I hate that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm the kind of person that I will pick a different car just to be different from everybody else. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I hate just that sort of... I don't mind the one series thing, one series make, but I don't like when it's a one series make, but there's supposed to be you know, other cars to choose from. You know what I mean? It's pointless. Yeah. I think they should have more tracks. I know they've got a lot of tracks, but they've got a lot of American tracks. I think there's, there's so many more tracks, man. So many more tracks Irish could have. But again, that's probably a licensing thing. I don't know. But, um, well, all their tracks are laser scanned, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I, yeah, I suppose, I suppose they can't, uh, you know, just quickly throw a track in. Let me read some <laughs> of your comments. <laughs> Um, Junior Meat says, so I think I caught something about a small pay to win element to I racing. Um, I wouldn't say, you know, not, not pay to win, but you definitely, if you want to, you know, battle at the top, you better be prepared to spend your, spend money on a decent wheel. And you're going to have, I haven't seen anyone, anyone independent come into I racing and win right at the top. Everyone, I, any, every, sorry, anyone I've ever seen win on I racing has been part of a team of some sort. You know what I mean? So they've got the setups there. They've got people making setups for them. You know, they've got the whole squad behind them. I've never seen someone independent come in and get to the top in I racing. Not yet, anyway. Mm. Uh, read Mike's comment. Ash Sutton, the BTCC driver, is in our league. I only see him on reverse grids. Or well, is he that quick here? Yeah? I mean, that's, that's the good thing about it. You're getting to race real yeah. guys, man. That's definitely the, the biggest pro. Getting to race real guys all the time. That's what's nearly convinced me in a way, you know. Because yeah. even when CJ talks to me about it, but he goes, I'm going to be raised for stopping today. Yeah. You know, you know, it makes me sort of want to go back on it. Yeah, because you, you want to message yourself, isn't it? Yeah. You, you sort of want to test yourself. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, when when I when I get on there, I realise why I got off there in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's the money, man, that comes with, you know, I mean, having to pay for a track that I don't even have. Like, ah, uh. yeah. I mean, um, like when I when I got I racing, the first thing I did was obviously I went in the wrong place because I was so could we I came straight off of P cars, so all I was thinking about was GT three, GT three, GT three. So I drove the free um, I think it was a free Cadillac, and like I I just ah. Uh, I didn't know what to to make of it. It was just it just a bit weird to me. And then I got in the uh, the MX five. That didn't go so well. I mean, this was on my old computer, so my old computer was a little bit crappy. But um, yeah, the MX five was was like uh, I just I just don't know in it. And then I just wasted it. Just didn't play it. I ended up I sat for about two weeks just making liveries. That's about mm. it. Do you know what I mean? And then I kind of like that as well. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I do like that. I'm not gonna lie, I do like that. I, I like that it's not some coding like yeah. bull that that um a set of course of competition <laughs> only pulls man. You gotta know math to change the living <laughs> on a set of course. Yeah, you know I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, I think some of them lot had some comments on there. Well, can you sell? I bet you can sell liveries. I bet people charge. I'm pretty sure people charge. Um, people will make liveries for a certain fee. 
I mean, I guess if you're someone who's creative, there's all kind of ways you can make money on iRacing. If you're someone who can put a livery together and say, look, I can make your whole team a livery. But I guess that that is another pro, the whole team thing. You know what I mean? You can make a team, everyone has the same livery. You know what I mean? Like that sort of that sort of team thing you, you can build. But, you know, it's only really when you're doing the uh, endurance races where you can get the whole team into one race, I believe. Yeah, someone should hire me. Someone should hire me. I think I can make a decent livery, man. I can put colours together. I'm decent. But Mike says you got to get your your eye rating super high to race the real pros. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah. Um, what's your What's your eye rating at the moment, Mike? Because you you guys have been on a you guys have been on eye for a while now. People do charge to do team paints. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know what iRacing is. You know what iRacing is. iRacing is, it's like starting off your career in karting. You know what I mean? It's like you yeah. actually have to put money in to get anything out. You know what I mean? Mm. If if you want to actually improve and be the best you can be, you're gonna have to, you know, probably improve your wheel, mm. probably get better pedals and stuff like that. It's that like similar to karting. You're gonna have to spend money on things, and if you really want to go might somewhere, then you might as well do karting. <laughs> <laughs> it's true that I mean it's a real thing. What 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 wheel has everyone got here? What what wheel are you working with now, Mike? I'm not sure what you had before. Did you have a I remember. Did you have a T three hundred before? Back on a PS4. Yeah, yeah CJ saying um He's only 3.6 and he raced Shane Van Gisbergen and like six or seven times in the past two days. Didn't CJ, didn't didn't he take <laughs> you out in one of them races? <laughs> Go on, I, put him on blast. Shane I Van Gisbergen well. took CJ out in one of them races, sideswiped him, and sent him a friendly message afterwards. Oh. You know, right, CJ? <laughs> <laughs> and you pay for that. <laughs> Basically, yeah, well. Junior Meat saying, so basically having a family exclude you from Irish and the Irish and scene. I mean, it excluded me. Can you imagine? I'm having a, I'm having a race on Irish and my missus calls me, babe, can you get an Ira bottle? You know what I mean? In my head, I'm like, yeah. sake. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess it's tough though, isn't it? You know, when reality hits you a piece. Yeah, it's just tough. Mm. Oh, battery died. Oh my God. That's on the phone side. Hold on. Don't die on me now. What's going on me now? Okay, there you go. <laughs> it's a Simu Cube 2. What is that thing, Mike? Is that like a... Is that like a... It's not like a right, game right, game. right, right. Right, so you wanna see so you wanna um uh Fanatec now, right? With the V two. Yeah, but you did start on a T three hundred. So how much did that cost, Mike? Yeah. Curiosity. I know the T three hundred was about well when when it first came out, which is probably when around most people got it. It was like yeah. it was like two fifty or something. Now I'm talking about the Fanatec because obviously I've got a T300, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but, how 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 much is it to upgrade to something like what you've got? A like direct drive. Mm. Say no more. Say no. More. I've seen some of the prices for direct drive. I wouldn't know whether to buy a direct drive wheel or just buy a real car. I want to take this thing off of it. The steering column. <laughs> take the steering <laughs> column off of a real car. <laughs> But listen, like I've seen, I've seen a lot of interesting stuff, man. If these, a lot of these guys who are engineers, they just put in making their own wheels and stuff. Yeah, I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. I'd love to do my own sort of cockpit. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah. Getting, I've seen it. Has anyone seen that? Um, anyone seen that video of that guy who's got um like a NASCAR in his bedroom? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> you gotta be rich to have that. So. Mike's just got a, a, a what's that? A Simu Cube Two Pro 
and I'm not going to try and pronounce them pedals. Kuskenveld. Kuskenveld. <laughs> Kuskenveld Ultimate Pedals. That's German, right? Chris Inkveld. It's either German Ooh. or Dutch. You have to say it with a German accent. Huskenveld. Ultimate Pedals. It's made it so much better. See? Direct drive. So how much did you spend on that, mate? Type it in lowercase just in case your missus is watching. She doesn't know the real price that you, you, you spent on the game. <laughs> oh, well, you you seen that. I, see, I know. Oh. I think, CJ, I think you showed me that. That guy. Yeah. He's got the um, half a NASCAR in his bedroom. It's crazy. 1,500. Cheese. Yeah. I just looked at it now. It says like 1,400 euros just for the base. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What wireless steering wheels? That is mad. Listen, if I spent that much on a wheel, I think I'd lose my missus for a good three months yeah. till I've made that amount back. Yeah. <clears throat> But I mean, if you've got the money, definitely. I'd love to have a direct drive wheel. I ain't going to lie to you. I'd love it. Oh, yeah. I mean? I'm guessing you'd probably gain a few temps from it as well. Yeah, that's that's the thing I mean. I, with the better equipment, I think, on iRacing, just like what Jardia said with the with the pedals mm. and the Fanatec, it's going to gain you time. Yeah. Oh, you sold your... Oh, it's, did you do BMXing? Look, CJ. CJ, Mike, friend. he did BMXing. <laughs> CJ used to compete in BMX. You see? He was a goat. Well, yeah, he was he was one of the greatest of all time in his state. The two time. <laughs> <laughs> Mike said his missus don't have a clue, she still thinks it's a fanny tech. Wow. Kinda like kinda like a he threw a a shake and bake. Nah, nah, girl, I'm still on my T three hundred. Oh, motocross. Yeah. I don't know, no. sorry CJ. He, yeah, he, yeah. he upped the levels, it's motocross, not Look BMX. <laughs> BMX is for kids, right? Yeah. That's nice, man. So what what uh, what discipline do you race in, Mike, on iRacing? So I want people to tell me about like, you know, how they're finding a race and people that actually play it. I wanna know what sort of discipline you're racing, because I, I saw uh Sideways, I think they were doing like the, the V8 supercars or something. And then things just look a bit crazy to drive. They look lovely though. But that's the Australian ones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I love them. I, I know Sideways and Ed Vocus, they were doing like a, some supercar thing last time I checked. Hmm. You know, if a set of course I had like another discipline, yeah, and it was like the V8 Utes. Well, not the Utes, sorry, the V8 supercars. I'd right, fully right. do that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, everyone! I think everyone would, man. So yeah, so you're mainly driving the GT3 GTEs. Okay, okay. So um, so where do you do you still race with uh Clarky and them or? Uh, what what are they into? Because I I was supposed to add them when I got on here, but I never never did. But you know, for some people, I racing you can see. It's like, this is, there's no other game to play. Once you've got iRacing, once you've spent that dough, like every other game, nah, there's no point. And I, th I think if you have made that commitment to go on iRacing, it's very hard to take yourself away from it, man, because it doesn't really make no sense in a way once you've spent that money to start playing other, other games. Because mm. you know what it's like? If I don't play a set of Corsa for two or three days, I literally lose like half a second. It's true, you know. It's mad, right? You've like, always got to be on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. Like, come on. Remember, you see when the, the Call of Duty uh, beta came out, the last one, oh, and yeah. I ended up just battering that for the whole weekend. I came back on I came back on a set of course and it felt like a different game. I had no speed whatsoever. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, in a team of Sideways, Hobnob, um, Monkey Boy, and Lane. Yeah. I know sideways. Yeah, you know, that's what I mean. You know sideways. That's what I'm saying. You um, you said that you, I think your dad would have raced with like sideways yeah. slash yeah. and all. Yeah, man. 
What, Scotia? And... Yeah, Scotia. Yeah, Sco- yeah Scotia I, I still got on my PlayStation. Oh, wow. Well, I don't think it was on VR room. Though. I'm not too sure, innit? Um, yeah, Scotia was in VR room, yeah. He was, in, he was definitely in VR room. Um, Project Lord, Project Sideways, Scalebreaker. Yeah. Um, Scalebreaker. Who else is there? <laughs> oh, VR42 is an iRacing as well. Wow. What's happened to Clarky then? <laughs> Haven't heard from Clarky in a while. So have you guys tried any other racing game apart from iRacing? Because for me, me personally, I still feel like the force feedback from Race Room is probably above iRacing's. Like the force feedback on Race Room is quality to me, my personal mm. opinion. I like Race Room. Yeah. I like the curbs on it as well. Curbs is nice. Because I'd still want to race with you guys, man. I still, still like, but I know you guys are just completely committed to a, to um i racing now i just don't know if i want to spend that amount to not have the same sort of commitment mm. all right right so clarky's probably jumped off for a bit then wow interested yeah it's crazy man it's crazy i, w- I was actually looking at i racing today looking at my my um subscription my account I think I was last on iRacing in 2017, like two years ago. I, I literally had iRacing before I even had a proper PC and I'd already tried it. So maybe that was some of the problem. But once I realized it was £110 to renew it for the year, I said, no, I'm not doing that. That's car insurance right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it is. I'm telling you, man. Uh, if you got the early access, um, Mike, then you should have the game. Then, right? You should have the full game. If you, if you bought the early access of ACC, you should have the full game, man. You should uh, you switch it on. If you if you've got the game, you might as well, man. You know, a lot of things for ACC are going to be coming good very soon. So, I mean, if you if you're talking about GT3 racing, look, the sounds on on ACC just uncomparable mm-hmm. to me. Uncomparable. Yeah. The GT3 sounds in that game, uncomparable. You want to hear the Lexus. <laughs> the Lexus, the Jag. And I Bentley. think the the good thing about um, Assetto, I know we're supposed to talk about iRacing, but I'm going to compare certain things. The good thing about Assetto is is each car has like just a completely different feeling, even though like the competitiveness of a lot of the cars are close. You've got the Audi, Ferrari, the AMG, the Bentley, the Lexus. Um, did I say the Ferrari? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're all close on pace. Yeah, you know what I mean, you can literally win a race in any of them cars. And that's what I like. I think even the McLaren as well. Remember? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Well, we saw what Noble did in that yeah, thing at yeah, that Noble. poor Ricard. You know what I mean? But let's not talk about that anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely like the the sounds, man. The sounds in that game, crazy. And I like the way it looks from like from the replay camera. It's a lot. Yeah, man. A lot of different cars in the class. There's no substitute. When I'm, whenever I'm on like ACC and I'm sat in the pits and someone drives past in a Jaguar, you just know. Like you're always like, wow, that car sounds mean as hell. And then you got the Aston Martin, and then I think pretty soon we get the new Aston. I think we get the new Audi. You know what I mean? We're gonna be getting some new tracks that. Um, what's that track called? Is it Kialami? The old F1 South African track that they've redone. You know what I mean? That's what we're getting. Yeah, yeah, we're getting that. Um, oh, wow. I don't think we're getting it on this patch, but it's a DLC in the future. We're getting that. Bathurst, Laguna Seca. Um, what else was it? Obviously, we know we're getting Zanvor. Yeah. So in the future, we seem like we're getting a lot more things. If we, if they do expand it and they start going to like Blancpain, Asia and America, then... It's just different level because so far for me, the um, the laser scan tracks on the set are, <laughs> yo, every <laughs> curb, every curb is the exact same place, is the exact same as when you see it in real life. Every yeah. curb, even the little, uh, you know, the mounted curbs, everything is exactly the same. Yeah, Silverstone's very, yeah, Silverstone looks great. And I'm not mm. the biggest fan of this Silverstone, I actually prefer the old Silverstone, the one that's on iRacing. Oh. The old one, you yeah. know, 
um, bridge. Oh. Uh, yeah, bridge, that corner right there. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, that's the Silverstone that I prefer, but um, iRacing has done a good job to make every track look attractive, if you know what I mean. There's mm. some tracks I don't even like, but they look good, you know? Mm. So um, and I know a lot of iRacing's laser scans are going to be quite old by now, because how, how long has iRacing actually been out? When did I read that? Yeah. When does I read that? Two thousand four. Two thousand four. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, it's a while. <laughs> that is a long time to have the, the same title. I know they've had like a. Oh no! Sorry, my apologies. The initial release was August twenty sixth, two thousand and eight. Two thousand eight. Over initial. ten years. So just over ten years. Right. Ten years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's that crazy. Is that is crazy. That's still a long time, man. Ten years ago, I didn't even had my first kid yet. You know what I mean? Mm. So that's crazy how long that game's been out. I wonder how much um, graphical updates they've been since the release of that game. Yeah, I can't tell you that still. Because, like, <laughs> graphic-wise, I is it is it even a... Graphically, is it even a PS a PS4 game? I, I swear I see graphics as good as these on PS3. Sure. As, as good as iRacing on PS3. Mm. You know? Mm. But, um, yeah. I, rec- um, I reckon the Gran Turismo on PS3. Oh, looks, Gran Turismo. On the PS3 looked a bit better than uh, some of the, well, the, I, the iRacing graphics for me as well. Uh, you know it is. It's more from the the TV cam on board. I don't mind it on board. Looks decent, mm. but when I watch like uh you know the race spot TV and all that, and I sit there and I watch it and like it's when like when the sun. I think it's when the sun's going in or something. I don't know. And the whole track and everything just goes orange and it's like what the. You know what I mean, <laughs> I don't I like. I'm baffled. Like why why does it look like this? It's just orange. The road's mm. orange. You know what I mean? Don't like, you think the lighting on the game's a bit like? I wouldn't say dark yet, but just it's like, like it's it got, color, I know what you mean. It? It's like it's got a brown tint of everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I look at the same thing, I think it's just, it just looks weird to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like, I, I don't know, man. I can't, I can't slander a game that's done so well and continues yeah. to keep people, you know, continues to keep people interested and has all these pro races on it. They must be on there for a reason, but I just think... You know, if you haven't got the the money to consistently do it, and for instance, say say like you know AOR does these i racing championships or whatnot, um, mm. and you know they bring out a calendar. If you if you haven't got five or six of them tracks, how much money are you having to spend just to compete in that championship? What's it like? Was it like thirteen quid, fourteen quid a track? And then the car, a competitive car, because remember and, they changed the BOP. Yeah, yeah. So you got to pay like what? Almost fifty, sixty quid for four, four or five tracks or whatever, whatever it is, um, just to do a league. What? And imagine the first race in the league, you get taken out turn one, race done. You know what I mean? Championship done. <laughs> yeah, championship <laughs> over. You spent all that money. It's done. You know what I mean, you're gonna be pretty pissed off. You know what I'm saying? I know, oh, man. Right. It's crazy. But definitely, but Mike, man, I definitely love to see you on a set, man. I mean, you you spent the money, you've got the game already. You might as well just just jump on. I ain't race with you, race with you for ages, man. Enjoy that. One hundred percent. Do on AOR. Yeah, if you haven't, if you guys haven't already, if you, if you want to get involved in ACC as well as I racing, because AOR's got I racing championships as well. Jump mm. on um, Apex Online Racing, man. There's so much stuff going on. I've been with mm. Apex Online Racing for way too long now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, yeah. like, been... I, had, I had a different name when I started Apex Online Racing. PS3 days. You know what I mean? But definitely oh, wow. doing oh, bits. Wow. What's that? No, I was going to say my ones was on Xbox. Was you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I started on Xbox, but it was that baby printer. It wasn't even my account. I even asked why I called myself that, innit? But <laughs> it was on my younger brother's account. I mean, he shared the, the Xbox at the time. Right, so what did you was you on AOR then? Yeah, I was AOR then. Right, that's crazy. I think 2015 my, I joined. That was it. 2015. I must have joined AOR. What? 
that's bearing in mind that's my new account isn't it right i think i joined airwire the first time in 2013 i think Mm. i didn't really do any proper races i just did a few um social races that was it and then obviously pcast one came out i spent some time vr room and then i wanted to just i wanted to just do more gt3 stuff man and then that was it all right Mm. man i'll see you in a bit see you later mate Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. Yeah. So, yeah. So, what do you guys think, man? Is it worth it or not? You've seen people that play it. You've heard from them. You've heard from us. Like, me personally, I just think that because of the commitment you have to give the game, I think iRacing is only worth it, one, if you've got the money, and two, Mm. if you're willing to totally commit to the game and just not concentrate on any other racing game. Mm. because to to get the best out of it you're better off just sticking to that one game but is it worth it that's <laughs> the question is it worth it mm. i mean as i said uh, i i think it's worth it if if you know your your sole fuck your sole focus is playing that game mm. but if you're if you're if you're like us and every time a new racing game comes out, you want to play it, then <clears throat> I don't know. Because we, we, we will gladly go to different games. If, if Auto Blister came out tomorrow, we'd all have it. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? We'd all play it. You know what I mean? So with iRacing, you can't really afford to uh, get led down a different path and then lose your muscle memory for iRacing. And then all of a sudden, you lose pace. You know what I mean? With iRacing, that's your first commitment. Everything else is just a distraction. I'm going to be honest with you here. Yeah. I reckon if for me to go on iRacing and sort of dedicate myself and commit myself to it, I reckon they'd have to remove the whole sort of payment thing. <laughs> remove the whole thing. Free. Remove it. Free. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the only way, you know. I mean, I, won't, I like I said, I don't mind you. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to seem like I'm stingy or, you know, mm. someone that won't go in their pocket. But come on, man. Seriously. You know? I do like, I say it like this, isn't it? For a PlayStation subscription for the year, it's how much? Like, uh, <clears throat> is it like fifty, fifty nine ninety nine or something like that for the whole year? Yeah. And you get to play an endless amount of games for that whole year. For a subscription for iRacing for the year, it's one hundred and ten quid for one game. Do you know what I mean? And in that in that time, you haven't even got access to all the things in the game. If you want access to all the things in the game, you've got to pay for them as well. So that to me is like, nah, these guys are, they're like taking money, like well out of people's pockets. But on no top of that, sure. you have to think about it. These men have got a constant 70,000 or more people on the game. Like calculate that for a second, how much these guys are actually earning. And that's just in subscriptions. You know what I mean? So that's like 110 times 70,000 or more. And on top of that, add the, uh, add, um, you know, like all the cars and tracks and stuff that people want to buy. These guys are making millions. So if you're making that money, you try to tell me you can't invest and improve the graphics. You know what I'm saying? Improve the physics. Iration should be the, the pinnacle in every department as far as I'm concerned because they've got a continuous, continuous money bracket that they're hitting. With other games, other games will sell more. Now, there's no oh. doubt that Gran Turismo, P cars will sell more copies of their games than iRacing because they're on three different platforms. Yeah. But enough, no other game keeps on continuously recouping the money the way that iRacing does. Every year, they're, it's like every year they're like selling the game again. Every year. Do you know what I mean? So obviously there's people that won't, you know, renew their subscription, but they're going to get new people in that will. Do you know what I mean? So every year, while there's a game like Project Cars, for instance, once that year's gone, it's made on themselves. It's not selling no more. Like the sales are finished. But when it comes to that same time of year again for iRacing, they're just recouping all that money all over again. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, for, for, yeah. for me, at that stage, they should be making dough. They should like be improving their game like tenfold, as far as I'm concerned. They should have everything in that game. And everything should be of the, the highest standard. I mean, I don't want to see substandard graphics or none of that. 
<laughs> but yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I've even it? seen Jack Villeneuve's gone on there, you know. What, Jack Villeneuve's on there too? Yeah, he's sub- sub- subscribe to the service. Worst world champion ever. I repeat, worst <laughs> world champion ever. He had no right to beat Michael Schumacher in 1997. His car was way faster. Schumacher did a way better job. I don't like Jack Villeneuve, man. <laughs> Why? Because, uh, because, I, come on, man. He faked the world title, bro. Like, when Jack Villeneuve won the world title, it, it showed me anyone can win the world title as long as you got the car. Yeah? You know? yeah, yeah, I can't. No, no, no. Jack Villeneuve. Mm-mm. As soon as soon look, as soon as that Williams wasn't dominant anymore, show me a standout performance that he had. You know what I mean? It never came, None. bro. Exactly. Even no. day, even Damon Hill had a standout performance after he left Williams at, at Hungary in the Arrows, where you know he almost won the race until his car broke down and Jack Villeneuve won. You know what I mean? I, I just no, no, no go for me. But anyway, mm. man. That's that's us. Next time, oh, what are we doing this? Are we doing this every week? Or are we doing this fortnightly? Because it's up to you, yeah. isn't it? Mm. I'm up for every. If everyone wants it every Friday, yeah, we'll see. Good. I know Friday is normally a day people are out and about, so um, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, guys, that's about it. I mean, make sure you guys follow if you haven't followed already. Jump on my Discord, join up mm. with us. Hopefully we can get some community racing and stuff sorted, man. But um, yeah, next time out, we'll be back. If not next week, the week after, but I'll update you on my Discord anyway. But it's Cryptic TMG, Big Printer. Big yeah, printer. we're out. <laughs> Peace.